As far as acoustic instruments go, the piano is perhaps the most mechanically and sonically complex of them all. A grand piano can consist of over 7,000 parts, and there's about 7,000 ways to mic one. Here are a few techniques to dial in the perfect piano sound. For our first setup, we have the mics inside the piano for a bright pop sound. This offers good isolation, which can be improved by lowering the lid. We have a pair of AT4060 tube condensers, 11 inches above the strings pointed straight down. A microphone with an extremely consistent cardioid pickup pattern throughout the frequency spectrum, like the 4060, is ideal for piano. When using two mics like this, it's important to observe the 3 to 1 rule. By keeping the mics at least three times farther from each other than the sound source, in this case the strings of the piano, proper phase alignment can be maintained. Always make sure to check phase at the console too. One mic is placed at the center of each string group. Be careful not to get too close to the strings to ensure that strings closest to the mic aren't overemphasized. Brightness can be increased by moving closer to the hammers or conversely lessened by moving away. Next we'll use a stereo pair outside the piano for a more natural solo piano sound. Here we have a pair of AT4051B small diaphragm condensers in XY, about 3 feet in front of the piano, 5 feet off the ground. The best way to find the ideal location is to move around the room while the pianist plays. The spot that sounds best to your ears will probably sound best to the mics too. The full sound of the piano can also be captured with a single mic. Here we have an AT2020 cardioid condenser just outside the piano. Again, walking around while the player plays is the best way to find the sweet spot. Placing the mic close to the piano will keep it from being overly roomy. With these techniques, you can tame any piano. On the stage or in the studio, Audio Technica has you covered.